Hey everyone, Josh with Wargaming Noob Historical back with the second in a series of videos of getting started in bolt action. In the last video, I talked about Band of Brothers two player starter as an entry point into the game, the pros and cons of choosing that as your uh, way to get into bolt action. This video, I'm going to talk about my preferred way of getting into bolt action, and that is to pick a nation or faction in that nation and kind of building an army from there. So without further ado, let's get started. So like many uh, war gamers out there, um, just getting started into a war gaming system, um, it can be kind of daunting to kind of just get into it. And while Band of Brothers is an okay way to get into it, you're kind of locked into either playing the uh, Panzer Grenadiers or the US Airborne. And while you can kind of build out from it and, and add uh, different you know, factions like, for example, U.S. Rangers or Waffen SS for either of those factions and nations. What if you just wanted to start with something specific and then kind of go from there? This is that option. So the key here is to pick the nation or faction within that nation that you want to play. Uh, I have an example as the U.S. Marines um, here on the screen, but th this could be anything. So if you were to play Germans, you could choose Fallschirmjäger, you can choose Waffen SS, you can even choose German Pioneers, uh, anything that's available in an infantry box, and then kind of slow grow build from there. An infantry box usually comes with about 30 guys, so you can build a lieutenant, a couple bodyguards for the lieutenant, then build up two mostly full size squads with the rest. And this is a basis for a reinforced infantry platoon in bolt action. Depending on the infantry box, you might even be able to build a couple of support options like a mortar team team, sniper team, or bazooka team, rounding that out with a tank and you have at the very least a good 500 point or more foundation for your army. After that, it really is up to you how you want to expand uh, from there, but that initial purchase of the infantry box and maybe vehicle, a support vehicle or a tank or anything like that kind of gives you a great way to get into that nation or faction within that nation. You know, moving on from there, you, you might want to get the support box for that nation or, or faction within that nation uh, because the, the support box comes with uh, more officers. It comes with support weapons like medium machine gun, uh, mortar. You can get a medic and radio operator that you can use as a spotter. And it's just a great way to fill out this initial purchase of the infantry box and your first support vehicle. Uh, from there, uh, you can build up however you want by adding more tanks, maybe even another infantry box or dipping into, uh, you know, another faction within that overall nation uh, for what you've chosen. Granted, you still will need to get a copy of the core rulebook and um, specifically your army book because that will help you decide which units you want to add to your uh, slow grow build. You know, all that is just part of getting into the game. More importantly, you're going to need order dice, so make sure that you purchase that 20 pack of order dice in the color that you want or, you know, the color specific to your nation or faction. And then uh, lastly, you'll want to go to easyarmy.com that'll be for your list building. Um, this will allow you to build lists based on a campaign or, or an era within uh, bolt action like early, mid, or late war and stuff like that. And um, it is free so that will allow you to build your list without having to uh, put any more money into like a list builder. As I said earlier, this is my preferred way of getting into bolt action or at least getting into a different nation or faction of bolt action because it gives you uh, a solid foundation and allows you to choose what you want to play uh, outside of that two-player starter band of brothers. So I'm just going to go through an example. Here I have the U.S. Marine infantry box, 30 multi-pose hard plastic, 28 millimeter miniatures, a great foundation for your army. You can build up to two squads. You have your uh, officer, uh, which will be your lieutenant, and then you'll have a few extra guys. And um, the neat thing about the U.S. Marine box set is it actually comes with an upgrade sprue, so you can make a bazooka team. You can arm them with all Thompsons or grease guns or shotguns and stuff like that. Let me just bring this picture up. <clears throat> so um, this is the weapon sprue, the upgrade sprue, and it shows you the different options to make your Marines unique. Uh, and this is just in addition to the four or five sprues that are included in the box. I actually bought this uh, infantry box uh, because I wanted to start a Pacific campaign with the kid and he's going to play the uh, Japanese. So you know, a cool thing 
about some of these boxes is it really gives you a lot of options. For example, I was able to do my full squads. I did one like close assault squad that has some machine guns and uh, some machine guns and shotguns. And then I have more of a ranged squad that has rifles and light machine guns in it. I was also able to create a corpsman. So in the rules, this would be a medic. Um, and then able to make a bazooka team. So that's a two-man team, one with the bazooka, one that's acting as a loader. You also can create a sniper team because you do have this. You can create a sniper team because you have this scoped M1903 Springfield rifle. So that'll be the person who is acting as the shooter and then a spotter loader. So again, uh, you do have a lot of flexibility with these uh, boxes because you'd have different weapon options and, and all that stuff. And, and depending on which infantry box you choose, there will be different support weapon options that will be available in these boxes. So great way to get started outside of the two player starter. And again, this is geared more towards a slow grow build. So let's say you want to get into bold action, but um, you don't want to heavily invest in it just yet. Getting in it, just an infantry box gives you uh, enough infantry to fulfill your force organization of a, an officer and two squads and that'll get you started in playing and then after that you can add your support vehicle whether it's a tank or a half track or anything like that so all right so to sum it all up sum it all up this is a great way to get into bolt action without heavily investing um, outside of uh, you know getting your core rule book getting your army book and your your order dice all you really need is an infantry box and if you want to add a support vehicle whether it's a tank or a half track or anything like that uh, and then uh, the sky's the limit from there you can build whatever you want you can add different factions so for example in my marine army if i wanted to i could add some rangers because rangers did fight in the pacific or i can just add another marine box and kind of build that force from there it, it really this is an option that is quite flexible in terms of list building and army building sorry all right that's it hope you enjoyed this video kind of gives you an idea of how you can invest into bolt action without spending too much and gives you an alternative to to band of brothers as a way to start there will be a third video in this series that will explore another easy version of getting into bolt action this is a little bit more expensive but basically It'll give you everything you need to play a full game of bolt action without having to build up from there unless you wanted to. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more getting started in bolt action from Wargaming New Historical.